So, Snapdragon just dropped the Snapdragon 6 is Gen 3, the follow-up to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695. And I know, you might be thinking that Hamza, it should be the successor of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 Gen 1. But friends, because of its speeds, performance, features, benchmarks, and connectivity, it's more like the successor of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695. And yes, Snapdragon is claiming that it's a mid-range chipset, but because of its performance and benchmarks, it's more like a budget option. This is a review video, but I will also compare this chipset to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 and some other competitors in the market. Speaking of benchmarks, the Snapdragon 6 is generally demonstrates commendable performance in benchmark tests. In Intuito version 10, it has achieved a total score of 500,600, which is almost 14% higher than the Snapdragon 695. And breaking down these scores, the CPU achieved 158,307 points. The GPU achieved 90,429 points. The memory achieved 125,063 points. And the UX achieved 126,801 points. Summing up to a total score of 500,600. Now, if I compare these scores, then you can see this chipset is really doing well in GPU, memory, and UX. The CPU scores is almost the same as the Snapdragon 695. So yeah, it's a good chipset for overall usage, but the graphical performance is a bit slower. Plus, this chipset also did a bit average in Geekbench 6 benchmarks. In single core, this chipset achieved 948 points, and the multi-core, this chipset achieved 2303 points, which is pretty average for a budget chipset like this one. And as you know, these Geekbench 6 benchmark scores are largely due to a CPU core configuration. In terms of CPU, the Snapdragon 6 S Gen 3 features an octa-core CPU configuration, with two high-performance cores based on Cortex A78 clock at 2.3 GHz, and six power efficiency cores based on Cortex A55 clock at 2 GHz. This chipset is very efficient because it is based on a TSMC 4 nm process node, and it utilizes the ARM version 8.2 slash A instruction set architecture. And because of the CPU configuration, this chipset performed well in Geekbench 6 benchmarks. Now, on the GPU front, the Snapdragon 6 is Gen 3 features an Arduino 619 GPU from Arduino 600 architecture. This GPU includes two execution units, 128 shading units, and 256 total shaders. And this GPU supports Vulkan version 1.1, OpenCL 2.0, and DirectX 12. Now, let's talk about RAM and storage. So, this Snapdragon 6 S Gen 3 features LPDDR4X RAM with a memory frequency of 2133 MHz. And this chipset supports a maximum RAM size of up to 12 GB. And for storage, this chipset features the UFS 2.2 storage technology for faster read and write speeds. And because of this RAM and storage, this chipset offers a maximum bandwidth of 17 gigabits per second. Now, in terms of features, well, one of the biggest advantages that this chipset has over the Snapdragon 695 is its AI engine, which is fairly fast and responsive, and actually improving the chipset's overall performance. Well, in terms of camera capabilities, it supports Qualcomm Spectra triple pillbit ISPs, and because of that, this chipset supports a single camera of up to 108 megapixels. Plus, it captures videos at 1080p at 60 FPS, so there is no 4K support. But it's actually not bad for this kind of budget chipset. Now, on the display front, this chipset supports full HD plus displays at 120Hz refresh rate and can support 10-bit panel, which provides colors of up to 1 billion. And this chipset supports various HDR formats. Now, in terms of connectivity, the Snapdragon 6 is generally fit with the Snapdragon X55 5G modem RF system, supporting 5G MM WAF and sub 6 GHz. This modem offers a download speed of up to 2500 Mbps and upload speed of up to 1500 Mbps. Plus, it also has a Qualcomm Fast Connect 6200 system, which offers Wi Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.2. So, yeah, this brings me to my final verdict. So, after reporting the Snapdragon 6 Gen 3 through its spaces, it's clear that Qualcomm has packed a lot of features in this budget friendly chipset with impressive benchmark scores, efficient power usage robust AI capabilities, and solid 5G connectivity. It offers a compelling option for budget smartphones. So if you are looking for a device that delivers reliable performance without breaking the bank, the Snapdragon 6 HD is a strong contender. It's time to say goodbye to those old 
budget friendly chipsets and welcome a new era of budget smartphone excellence so yeah that's all for this review if you learned something new and useful then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss a new video from my channel and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section below so my name is Samza. this is Hate Tech and see you in the next video if you want to watch the full review of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 Gen 1, then that video is right here. And if you want to watch the full review of the Mediatek Dimensity 6300, then that video is right here. Thank you for watching.